about how many Palestinian women and children have been killed by Israel since October 7th? It's over 25,000. Mr. Secretary, yes, last week the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights warned that any transfer of weapon or ammunition to Israel violates international law. About how many precision-guided munitions has the United States given Israel since the beginning of the war? I don't have that number at my fingertips, but uh, we have Mr. Uh, endeavored Mr. Zaid, it's about 21,000 precision-guided munitions to Israel since the start of the war. Secretary Austin, last week you spoke to Defense Minister Gallant, and you said clearly there needs to be a plan to ensure the safety and support of those sheltering in Rafah before any military operations proceed. National Security Advisor Sullivan has said he has not seen any plan yet. John Kirby said it would be a disaster to invade Rafah. If Netanyahu defies the United States and invades Rafah, will you commit today that you will halt any future military sales to Israel? Uh, obviously, sir, that's a, that's a presidential decision. But, uh, you know, we expect that, uh, and, and by the way, I spoke to Minister Gallant uh, last night. Uh, and I, I expect uh, that uh, when we provide munitions to, uh, to allies and partners, that they'll use them in a responsible way. So. But would you make a commitment that they defy what we're saying and they violate international law, by the way, which is opposed to National Security Memorandum 18 and National Security Memorandum 20, that if they don't do what we're saying, that we would halt those uh, arms sales or transfers? Again, the, bill, the, the uh, decision to halt... Uh, um, the provision of security assistance uh, would not be mine. It would be... What would you recommend? Well, I certainly, again, I, I, I really do expect that, uh, that they utilize uh, the, the weapons that we provide them in a responsible way. And then if they well, don't... Sir, I just want to, for time purposes, it seems to me if they're defying what you're telling them, what Kirby's telling them, what Sullivan's telling them, that wouldn't be responsible. Cindy McCain, the head of the World Food Program, has said that the Palestinian children are starving. Extremist settler Stormrich, Israel's finance minister, stopped American flour, which our taxpayers paid for to get into Gaza. If Israel, Israel again ever stops American paid aid from getting into Gaza, will you commit to not sending future arms sales? Again, that's, uh, uh, that's not my decision. Uh, I, would, uh, I would, number one, uh, do what I've been doing and engage uh, the leadership and, and encourage them uh, to, to ensure that humanitarian assistance is getting... Mr. Secretary, I would just say, and I have one more question, that you, we need some consequences when another country is defying you, defying the National Security Advisor, defying the President, uh, defying National Security Memorandum 20. Uh, there has to be some consequence. And then I was surprised John Kirby said that Israel is taking more precautions than the U.S. military would to protect civilian life. Mr. Austin... Secretary Austin, isn't that statement inaccurate given Israel has used hundreds of 22,000 pound dumb bombs when there were no place to, for civilians to go? Would the U.S. government ever target terrorists with 2,000 pound bombs in a densely populated area? Well, we, we ha I mean, there, it depends on the, on the situation. And, and again, but would we, have we done that? Put, 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 use 45% of bombs that are unguided or a 2,000 pound bomb? I, I mean, do you really think that the Israeli government is taking, military is taking more precautions than the United States military would? I, I think, uh, you know, just based upon the results uh, in terms of the, uh, the, law, the uh, significant loss of life. Gentlemen's time's expired. Chair, and I recommend.